Okay, so by now you probably all know, or maybe you didn't know, that Duncan vs. Becerra, the court case that was talking about the magazine capacity ban in the state of California, it went through. And the Ninth Circuit said, hey, this is unconstitutional. It was a 2-1 split. They said it's unconstitutional and that the opinion of the circuit judge, Judge Roger T. Benitez, still stands. Now, what does that mean? Well, unfortunately, what that means is that the stay that Benitez put in place is in place. So what does that mean? Let's talk about that today. But first, before I do that, I got to say a huge thank you to the California Rifle and Pistol Association. I'm actually going to be donating a uh, hundred bucks to them. Uh, I usually make little donations here and there, but I'm going to be making another small donation to the California Rifle and Pistol Association because they were the big organization that actually helped get this through and got us this small win. This is actually a pretty big win, but I really do want to say thank you to the California Rifle and Pistol Association. I didn't make that clear enough in the first video that they were the ones that actually made this happen. And I wanted to refresh all of you again so you do know who to support. I also want to say thank you to Franklin Armory for sponsoring this channel. They've been a huge supporter. They're what makes me able to keep continually making these videos and making videos fast and quick and getting that information to you guys. So thank you to Franklin Armory. So this day, what actually happened? And what actually happened with the Ninth Circuit? A lot of companies right now are shipping mags. For example, I know off the top of my head, Brownells, PSA, Primary Arms, Botac, uh, many of the big magazine or big firearms sellers are in fact taking orders for people in the state of California. But the question is, should they be? Personally, I am aware of the fact that companies will ship and they have had their lawyers look it over but when you look at what Firearms Policy Coalition and the other big firearms legal teams have said, the stay is still in effect. And now I got to read you a quick tweet from the Attorney General's communications manager. So in the state of California, Attorney General Javier Becerra, his communication manager on Twitter said, California Attorney General Becerra is carefully reviewing this decision with the goal of protecting public safety. Keep in mind... Until further court proceedings, the stay on the injunction issued by the district court remains in place. So, it's important for you to understand that just because they are shipping those mags to you, it might not be legal. I'm not going to recommend you do or don't. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm simply going to give you this information. I'm not a lawyer. This is not legal advice. I'm just going to say that, hey, on one hand, companies that are big and well-known are shipping magazines to the state of California. On the other, it appears as if the Attorney General's office is of the opinion and the opinion of Firearms Policy Coalition and some other organizations that currently the ban on selling, importing, manufacturer, keeping for sale, buying high capacity or large capacity magazines in the state of California is still in effect. So this kind of brings in that conversation of what do I do? And I'm not going to tell you what to do. People can have those comments down and have those discussions down in the comment section. Um, but ultimately, I think it's important for you to understand that this is an ever-evolving situation. Currently today, it is 1.10 p.m. on the 14th of August. And this information is relevant as of right now. By the time I even get this uploaded, things might change. So if you're curious about how to stay most up to date, I can't upload a video every single time there's a small update. And I can't upload those videos as fast if I do. So if you want to stay up to date, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Those are the best ways to keep up to date with what I'm saying. I might not always be available to make a video, but I can usually make a tweet. I can usually post on Instagram. So follow me there. If you have any questions, follow me there. If you want to support the channel, I have a subscribe star. Link is down below. It's a way to monetarily support this channel. I would really appreciate it. I switched away from Patreon because I wasn't comfortable with some of the things that they were doing. Um, and I just kind of wanted to make that move and start everything over with a better, more freedom loving organization like Subscribe Star as opposed to Patreon. Y'all know the drill though. Have fun, be safe, stay dangerous. Peace.